And what's going on guys, it's your boy Ooch, and I am of course with my man's house top for yet another episode of the Full Power Podcast. This you is episode. Row. Yes, yes, this is the, the fourth <laughs> one. Fourth one. So wow. So you and I, of course, the co-hosts of this grand tour. Wow, GT shout out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're here to talk about all three Dragon Balls. This is the bi weekly podcast. You guys can expect to listen. Um, wherever you're listening to it from, and this this episode shouldn't be as long, but it might be knowing how uh, you know conversations tend to you know go mm-hmm. along with themselves. So uh, we're just gonna cover some some topics that happened within the course of the last two weeks in the Dragon Ball realm, and uh, I guess we'll just uh, hop. Well, before we hop right into it, so how's how you doing today? Pretty good. It's still snowing. I think last time we were, we were on the podcast, it was still snowing too. But uh, outside of that, pretty good. I'm peaking a lot. Yeah, I uh, I what's it there called? I, you and I both are over here in the tri-state area, so um, randomly, yeah, yeah, it does suck. We we uh, we 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 were fortunate or not fortunate. I'm not looking. I'm, I'm not finding the right word to use yeah, right now. But we are unlucky, I guess, enough. So so maybe non fortunate. To, yeah. to find out how we uh, have this snow coming our way. And it's supposed to not stop until like 3 a.m., at least for me. I don't know how oh, it's going to be love for you. It. Yeah, it's, it's about the same. Yeah, it sucks. But that's pretty much what's going on. It's cold. It's cold as is yeah. still, all right? <laughs> it's freaking cold AF. <laughs> not Dragon Ball AF, cold AF, man. We don't want this. Yeah, no, nobody asked for this. Yeah, Literally not, no one. Not a single It's March. Person. You know, we're, re- crazy. we're ready to get out of here. Freaking geekdom has never, like, until recently, he's never actually been in front of snow or touched it. What? Yeah, but when he went to when he went to the Milwaukee convention, he was doing, he uh, posted on his Twitter. He was like, "This is the first time I've ever seen snow in person. This is wild." I was like, "What?" That's well, that's insane. that you know because he's from Florida, so he's he's spoiled. He's he's used to the good weather. Right. But. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna get Whatever. right into we're gonna right, get right into the some of the topics here. Uh, starting us off um, is an article from Konzenshu.com. So for those that don't know, Konzenshu.com is probably one of the leading Dragon Ball websites um, and databases. They have a bunch of archived, translated articles, interviews. They have episode guides. They have a, a bunch of really neat things, Dragon Ball related, and they're really resourceful, especially on the, in the terms of um, trying to look into certain interviews, you know, from Kira Toriyama or any other um, head folks over in Japan that have anything right. to do with Dragon Ball. Um, and a lot of times, you know, unlucky for us, North America or any other regions of the world. We don't necessarily get officially translated um, things, so <laughs> hardly ever. Yeah. So what you know, Konzenshu does is they have their team of you know, translators, and they just post up on their website for us to um, read through and enjoy um, mm-hmm. the nice data that is presented to us. So shout out to Konzenshu for yeah, this. Bless them. Yep. Bless them. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so basically what we wanted to bring up for you guys to definitely check out when you have the time to do so um, is a recently translated um, archived interview um, by or from Tatsuya Nagamine and Naohiro Shintani. You might know them as the animation supervisor. Well, Shintani is the animation supervisor and the director of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, yep, uh, yep, yep. who is Tatsu- Tatsuya Nagamine. So um, they pretty much talk about, I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys or at all, because I, I definitely want you guys to read this, read through it, but it is really cool. Um, this was an interview that was included um, from the Super Edition, which is like the film's Japanese theatrical attendee program book. Ooh. Um, and they talk about um, how they went about you know, setting things up without having to go through Toriyama directly. Mm-hmm. So it's a pretty interesting read. Uh, they have the full translation there. They have little snippets um, on the main article page. So um, if you're listening to this via YouTube, definitely check the description. We'll have a link uh, posted directly to it for you guys to check out. Um, we might be able to put, throw it in the podcast description too. Okay, yeah. So that'll, that'll be helpful for you guys to see. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check that out. 
Um, I love reading up on, you know, translations, you know, of anything Dragon Ball, especially with Akira Toriyama, because we get to, we get to see like or hear about, you know, the recent stuff that he's that he has going on through his head. Like, oh, like what are you thinking? That's, I might, I might do this now, dude. I don't know, but, <laughs> but yeah. So definitely check that out. Uh, Nagamine and Shintani interview brought to you. And this, this was uh, updated like a few weeks ago, so definitely check that out. That's like the first thing I have on my list of what we wanted to bring up for this episode of the Full Power mm-hmm. Podcast. Um, moving along from that, we're going to kind of segue into some video game discussions. So uh, if you guys remember from last week, episode three, or not last week, why did I say last week? I'm thinking like we're doing this weekly. No, we're not doing this weekly. This is bi <laughs> So uh, from weeks ago, last episode, talking a little bit about Legends and Dokkan battles. So pretty much... Mm-hmm. Uh, for this portion of the um, the the podcast episode itself, pretty much going to I guess give you guys some updates on our progression with the game, and then, <laughs> poss- <laughs> but then possibly uh, you know give some shout outs to whatever the banners are because I know Dokkan doesn't update as often as Legends does from my understanding um, from keeping up to date with both games right. um more legends for me personally than dokkan i will get into that more but well, i want to start us off by asking how so how's your progress going yo i'll have you know i just completed mission two let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm missing one dragon ball i just need the one star dragon ball and then i get shenron whatever that does oh when you're fighting right so if you sure. uh if you're fighting and you select cards that have the dragon ball um, little icon on it mm-hmm. you build up you know you build up your little uh, Dragon Ball collector meter it's not really a meter you just see it on screen if you have all yeah. seven yeah, and once yeah, you have yeah. all seven you'll be able to do a, a, um, a dragon rush a rising rush um, and that's basically like you know a really strong powerful attack that if you then succeed with the random selection Mm-hmm. Um, and your opponent guesses wrong, then you'll go through with even more damage and potentially wipe out your oh, nice. opponent. So it's gotcha. really cool. It's a really nice thing, but it's good that you got at mission three, episode two, mission two. Uh, episode one, mission two. Unless it's uh, unless it throws you into mission or episode two automatically. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, so, so that, that so is there is there anything you might want to add as far as like what you might be enjoying or what you're not liking so far about I'm like, legends i'm liking all of it so far like it's, it's all pretty good it, okay. uh with uh with legends it's pretty cool having um the new character character shallot like i really like him as a character and everything that he's going through and then uh with dokkan it's just fun like i just i don't know i just because it's it's just a so much of a different game from what we're used to with like Americanized games, where this is very much so like a Japanese mobile game that you would play like on the transit going to work kind of thing, and it's pretty cool because I can do it when I'm on the transit going to class. Oh, so, oh I yeah. didn't know y'all had a uh, transit over there. Yeah, we got buses. Oh, okay, I guess. That counts. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah that's counts. about it. I think transit. I think trains, but that is definitely buses are definitely a part mm-hmm. of transit systems. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm, shout mm-hmm. outs to knowing about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I really enjoy it. I would definitely recommend it to any of my friends that uh, enjoy Dragon Ball. So definitely, like, if you're just even, like, from casual to hardcore Dragon Ball fans, if this is, like, kind of, like, you're trying to kill time, you definitely recommend it. Oh, especially for casual Dragon Ball fans, because you're like, oh, yeah, I get to use Goku and Yamcha. Like, it's perfect. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Shout out to Yamcha. But you know what's funny? Okay, so I'm glad you said that, though, because... I guess this is a point that I, I almost forgot that I want to bring up that um, um, I didn't bring up previously when we were talking about this. But I do want to say that the cool thing about Legends and Dokkan Battle is that if you're a fan of like card games of any sort, like in real life, so it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, even the Dragon Ball Super card game, and uh, you, you like that aspect of like, you know, buying packs, opening the packs, and like, you know, the whole... Um, like the, 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 the euphoria or euphoria around like the mystery behind like what you could potentially get from said pack. If you're into that kind of stuff, 
I would definitely oh, recommend so these games because they they have that exact feel, except it's digital. It's not like a physical thing. But then again, once you you know you pull those sparkings or those SSRs or those or those UR LRs from Dokkan, you know it gives you a sense of like gratification and like oh my god, like I pulled this type of feel, which is really cool, and it makes you want to play more. Much like with card games, it makes you want to buy more packs. Yep. So yep, yep. it works the same you. way. The one thing I will say that I enjoy about these over actual card games is that this is all free unless you decide that you want to actually shell out, you know, 20 bucks or 10 bucks for some crystals on Legends and you want to, you know, do some more multi summons so that way you, you know, you pull like 10 characters at a time. Right. Um, with, you know, with, with that being, you would, you would naturally have a higher chance of getting a sparking character. Which is always the goal. You always want to get the Spartan yeah. characters. Um, with with Dokkan, it's the stones. So I know that there is a currency like you can use real money to buy more stones if you would um, so choose to do that. Um, and obviously, you know this is not like it's not required. Um, and that's that's one thing that I guess the, the mobile games have over like actual card games is that when you play a card game, you have to put money into it if you are starting unless you know people that have right. enough cards that they can just give you so for example for us it would be roxo be like all right roxo no, that's you know? exactly what i was gonna say <laughs> like, all right roxo like build me a deck or something so that way i could you know or, you know because the man loves his card games and he'll put enough money into it so that like but you know oh, so much money to the point where he is like the robin hood of card games like he will <laughs> just be donating cards out to people that yeah. you know it's like oh i don't want this i don't want this i don't want this so you can have it and he's cool about Literally it stacks but yeah like and stacks then also i also also add like if you are so if you're like me i'm really weird about this right so like i've been playing card games on and off my whole life um mm -hmm. you know from Yu Gi Oh to pokemon to power rangers to dragon ball super and I love playing card games and I love playing them with people that I know. Now, key words are people that I know, right? right? When it comes down to playing them with complete strangers, I just don't enjoy them as much because it's like there's like a weird tension that's in the air that I can like, it's so awkward and I can feel it every time and I just don't like it. And it has, and it might be anxiety or it might be like, <laughs> being like skeptical about like how certain people are playing and like i can i'm always like man is this is this really how you're supposed to do this like there's always oh, something going that. on with rulings or yep, yep, something yep. like that you know what i'm saying hey, that's how i feel and it sucks because it's just like okay if i'm playing with friends if i'm playing with family members i know that i will be fully comfortable and if there's any if there's ever like uh like some kind of ruling that is we're unsure of then you know we won't we have any kind of awkward silence or like awkward right. moment where it's like well like what do we do from here we'll both know like okay well let's look into this together and then figure this out and you know stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know that's that's where i'm at with card games like that's why i haven't gotten back into the super card game even though i do i have expressed interest and I would love to buy all of the the cards that come out of the new Broly movie set. Oh, just to have me them. Me too. Yeah, you know I'm like, I like I don't even play it, but just having them would be sick. Yeah, like I would just want them, you know, just to freaking look at it and be like, yes, yeah. like Broly, Barda, <laughs> Gogeta. Like I, you know, that's what I'm saying. I think like, when I played when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, that was the main reason I got cards. Just be like, oh yeah, Elemental Hero. Burstinatrix, this is Let's so cool, yeah. Like, Burstinatrix was one of the low key waifus yeah. that I oh, yeah. totally forgot about from freaking Yu Gi Oh! But yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm at with card games. Like, I've had people like in the past that'd be like, yo, like, ooh, you gotta, you gotta come to the store and play more. And I'm just like, ah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's different, it's weird. Like, and then with, with this, it's like, you know, it's all. It's all within your phone or your your mobile device. You know, you can yeah. play these games on tablet if you want. Um, there's almost like less pressure because of it. 
Exactly. And, the, the human element out of it. and and you can play against people still. Like, you know, you yeah. can do friend battles, you can do rank battles. So there is that element to it. So you don't have to just do it. Like there's no like you have your your offline mode missions, quote unquote, even though you do have to be online. So but yeah. Um, you have those type of missions, you have event missions, and then you have like the ranking matches that, you know, you can, um, rank up to a certain point within a certain amount, a period of time until it re and then it resets. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, that's, yeah, I keep saying this, but that's where I'm at with these, with, with card games and with like, you know, these mobile games, like these mobile games, I'm treating them like they are online card games. You know where i don't necessarily right. have to spend money and if i choose to then it's not like you know i have to go out of my way to do it i just it's literally an in-app purchase yep. bam yep. it's quick and easy um and the obvious obviously the only the one thing that i'm not getting out of these games is the this is the physicality behind yeah. it like you know having actual cards like you yep, know yep, super yep. dragon ball heroes is another thing which is actually a good segue because um we're one month out at this point, we're literally oh, one month out from Super Dragon Ball Heroes on wait. the Switch and Steam. April 5th. Uh, so you're actually going to get that game? Hell yeah, I'm going to get that game. Oh, see, I'm, I was actually surprised because I, I honestly didn't expect you to get it. So that's actually, I'm, nah, now I'm more don't. hype. Because, all right, listen. I never really played like Dokkan or Legends just because I was, I'm not really like a mobile gamer. Yeah. Um, But... Because it's more of like a card game, more so as a mobile game, I'll definitely mm -hmm. play it. Because yeah. you know what happened when uh, when Duel Links came out? Dude, uh, I dumped yeah. mad money on that game. <laughs> <laughs> I did you really? Good. Yeah. Oh my god! I didn't that's spend why, a dime on Yu-Gi-Oh, nah, man. Son, that's why I don't play the. That's why I don't play uh, card games because I just lose all my money. <laughs> yeah, they. It, they, it, they, it goes happy. fast. Like I remember when Super Card Games was new, and. I, the the money I put in was for the starter deck and a box, yeah. and that was it. Right after that, it was like Roxo donations and but whatever band I decided to send me for free. You know? Yeah, yeah, because we got the starter kits. Uh huh. And, and matter of fact, I got new starter kits that were that came out like a few months ago. Huh? Well, did you apply for it, or did they just send it to you? Yeah. So like every time they have like starter kits. I didn't think they were gonna do more after the first mm -hmm. launch of the right. game coming out, but um, you have to—you just have to be a content creator, um, oh, man. and See, you have to have those. like, you, what, what was that? <laughs> I'm not one of those. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, you—you you are to a degree, but like on the scale of the no, no, the yeah, um, prerequisites that they require, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd have to have, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. At least five thousand subs on YouTube, something like I that. I get that easy. Yeah. Free. <laughs> yeah. So like they see my numbers, they're like, okay, yeah, you you qualify. So I mm -hmm. get I get the free the free crappy decks that they're willing to spare, I guess. Right. <laughs> but yeah, the last set that they did for um that trial deck whatever was it's like a Frieza thing. I haven't even opened them up to look through them at all. Yeah. But they're basically like they like they're trial decks, so they're basically to like teach people if they you know you want to get them into it. Yeah, just how to play. Like I would, I'm not gonna lie though, I would love to do like more card game stuff on the channel, like on the YouTube channel with you, like at least for Dragon Ball because that would be fun and to just have like, um, like in real life matches to upload just to like do it i don't know it'd be different and, and we know we know other people that would be into doing that like yeah. mad luck mad luck i know has oh, expressed interest that. yeah he's expressed interest in trying to play it again i just also wish that they had an actual online game like right. an online version like pokemon does it magic, yeah, magic does it too, yeah you know, Yu -Gi -Oh like kind of has one. Duel Links is yeah. Duel Links is basically yeah. But like I, what I'm talking about is I want that. It's like so the point where it's just like you buy a pack, you get a digital code too, and then yeah. that digital code gets you a pack for the online version. Like that's what I want to happen. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. one day, maybe. So, but as far as my progress with the game goes, Legend of Dokkan, um, I guess what I'll do is I will just I will say that I'm level 55 now. Mm -hmm. Um. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I have 
Let's see how many characters I've maxed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters that I have maxed out. Now, by maxing out, I mean I have I have boost, soul boosted them up all the way to 2,000, and I have unlocked all of the panels that hmm. um, that I possibly can. So gotcha. that's uh, that's what I've been. That so the characters that I have maxed out are um, OG Broly. Uh, future Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan, Trunks from Super, um, Kaioken Goku. Well, he's not in Kaioken, but he can transform into Kaioken, so he's like beat up Goku, right? Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. We got Super Saiyan Rage Kale, I guess, or Berserker, okay. or whatever you want to call her. Um, and these are all sparking characters, by the way, minus Shallot. So then I got Super Saiyan God Goku. And I got Future Trunks from the Future Trunks special. So this is like oh, okay. Trunks Youth, yeah. And he yeah. has a transformation um, uh, ability where he goes Super Saiyan. And what's cool about this character, now this is this is out of one of the newest um, events where um, I'm sure if you're listening to this by now, I think the event will be over by then. But the event has been going on for a few weeks and... Is pretty like you can you can pretty much like you you can get this trunks and like you know use all the coins that you get from the missions uh, that are catered to this event yeah. and then use the coins as you so please like you can use them to boost him up you can use him to raise his um, overall stats so that way you can like um, raise the stars which I'm assuming oh yeah it's like limit breaking type stuff so that makes gotcha, their gotcha. overall power even stronger and what's even cooler ha pun is that <laughs> you if you have gohan on your team he gets a boost when gohan dies he gets even more of a boost so i think oh that's pretty that's pretty cool to the that's, that's awesome yeah you know what i'm saying so and yeah. then lastly shallot so everyone else is just um i do have a couple that are close to 2000 but not quite and my recent uh pull that i will definitely report on is your boy finally <laughs> got broly okay Woo! i'm freaking enough. oh my god and you know, i'm kind of mad i'm happy mad because <laughs> i wasted two thousand crystals trying uh, to pull this freaking thing uh, and i didn't pull it from that but then directly after i did a discount summon and i pulled them are you serious i can't make this up i was wow. so dude my emotions were literally bizarre <laughs> it didn't make sense because i was like I'm so mad, but I'm so happy I finally pulled. And this is the Super Saiyan, um, you know, full power Broly from the movie that we're, I'm right. talking about. So currently he's almost at 1500. I have him at 1495 right now. So, you know, he's only 550 away from being maxed out. And gotcha. yeah. So that's my pull of the episode. I should, I guess I'll, <laughs> I'll bring Pull up. of the week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but any any other uh, any other things you might want to add to this uh, mobile Dragon Ball game discussion here? Download it if you haven't, because yeah. they're a lot of fun. Yeah, and yeah, it, if you like Dragon Ball in any capacity, I mean, I hope so. If you're listening to this, but uh, right, you will you will enjoy it. Word, right? Yeah. So there's that, and then uh, yeah, after that we have. Two more things to, 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 to discuss. So quickly, we're just going to pretty much review. Not uh, Yeah, I guess review, but um, in a sense, just kind of talk about uh, the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, which was 100. So I know that the last time I, I referenced the last episode, the last um, episode we were talking about was 97. Um, so just for like, um, I guess, time constraint purposes, um, we're just going to talk about the last episode that happened. So... Um, we're skipping over 98, 99, mm -hmm. but definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and watch them, um, and to, and to stay up to date and current, in current, yeah, in current with the episodes as they air on Toonami yeah. to, you know, support the ratings, give them yeah, some good ratings. Yeah. All right. Um, and yeah, so episode hundred is, is the, is the episode where we finally see, uh, Berserk Kale, um, oh, in the tournament of power. My um, favorite. Yup, and shout out to Dawn M. Bennett for doing an amazing freaking job. Yes, yeah, uh, she has actually been doing really, really cool things with this character. Um, 
you, that, that it's pretty much like what you would expect out of an english dub version of you know the the japanese kind of part mm -hmm. and some changes that i noticed um the which is one of the big ones is that she doesn't say son goku which is what um you hear in the japanese version now, i know that in the english dub we only ever heard that once and i'm pretty sure it was when um it was goku versus frieza on namek but this was during dragon ball z kai where he said my name is son goku or whatever and that's the only time we ever see it we ever hear him say it. and they never they never did it after that not so, after that yeah whack I mean, I can. It kind of sounds it, it, awkward in English. Yeah, it doesn't translate well. It's it so doesn't. Terrible. Like, it's not. It's not a part of like. Because if we were to directly translate that, that would mean it would literally be Mr. Goku, and <laughs> Goku don't refer to himself like that at all. I, Mr. Not, Goku, like. I mean, <laughs> he could. Yeah, I mean, he could, but Wait, it would just, when he's it would going in for weird. Gohan's parent-teacher conference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so Mr. Goku, like, yeah, yeah. like that's the only. That's the only. It's the only way um but yeah as far as uh, um other parts of the episode so oh yeah never mind so before i get into the rest of the episode um so what replaced uh son goku was kale was essentially adding on like insulting phrases to his name so like for example like she she was she was calling him like the arrogant goku like arrogant goku like so and so goku like and 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 she that was her thing the entire time so i was like wow like they really came up with all these insults for her to say because she was that mad mm -hmm. um and another thing that i will say is that she th this definitely this episode definitely hints at the relationship she has with cauliflower a lot more in the terms of like being like you know on a like on a relationship kind of relationship right you know they're not just friends like they're a little more than friends yeah yeah, yeah. which is different from the sub of course um they're just they're kind of like a student mentor type of relationship for some reason in the english version they're like on a on like a lesbian relationship huh? type of thing hey, which man, i mean appeal to the audience I guess but it's like <laughs> damn like i don't know if anyone asked for that type of thing you know like the internet core did. values i suppose the internet did the internet like there was something i was not expecting and, and to me uh, to be honest i'm still like i'm still kind of like new to the idea and i'm not saying i'm like a homophobe or anything but i it just it's it just, just, it just it's, it's just catching me off guard yeah it's, it's just doesn't feel like the character yeah like it's, yeah exactly it's like, it doesn't feel like the character that we're used to right. because yeah that that wasn't even a thing in the sub but again you know it's it's something that makes the english version unique i guess mm -hmm. and we'll see how that plays out um you know through the course of the show uh because right now it's just like from you know comparing it to the to the sub you know kale in the japanese version she was angry at the fact that you know she wasn't really paying like cauliflower wasn't paying her much attention because goku got her attention right. and you know because you know they're strong blah 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 and she felt useless in this version she's more like on the lines of oh like how could how could you take cauliflower away from me like she's my and then they cut her off so mm -hmm. they, they they're leaving us with this like humongous lead yeah. on you know what i'm uh, saying i'm just like what are they doing like <laughs> i don't i don't know why this is even a thing but i don't know I don't know. It, 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 it's different to say the least. Um, but as far as uh, the character at its core goes, like you know, the the voice work, it's all great, and I'm 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 loving it a lot. She, Kale takes out a bunch of characters. If you guys remember, um, Jiren is the one that pretty much stops her. Um, we see a little bit of action. Well, obviously, we see some action prior to this via Goku and Cauliflower. This is the part where. He teaches her how to actually um, uh, harness Super Saiyan 2, and he briefly mentions Super Saiyan 3. So nice. that's pretty much um, the whole episode. Is like that is how we started off. Um, the recap is of Krillin, and mm -hmm. then uh, leading in towards the end of the episode, um, you know, we see we we see Kale getting pretty much knocked out conscious because of Jiren. 
because you know her power was so overwhelmingly she couldn't control it and they pretty they and they uh confirmed this and also vegeta does say so they they brought this over thankfully from the you know japanese sub that um you know he goes kakra you better be careful stop you know you know stop playing around because this could be the you know the legendary super legendary saiyan form super saiyan. that our ancestors you know talked about over right. all these years so i was like okay good that's still a thing good 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 so things are lining up for when broly comes in <laughs> which i'm Finally. hoping they do have that interaction eventually right. in the anime they should so they but should yeah, so they should right <laughs> they yeah, should they, they should <laughs> Um, because yeah, you know, now that, you know, to, to bring this up really quick, I, I don't understand why the majority of the internet really believes like Chilai is Broly's girlfriend, like automatically. Like, I don't know. I think like, she just, she just sees potential in him and is like, I'm going to train you and you're going to learn how to speak well. <laughs> yeah. Like, see, that's the thing. Like we can assume like it'll go in that direction. Right. But realistically, like, okay, yeah, sure. It'll make sense because, yes, this is probably the first female Broly has ever laid eyes on. Yeah. And Actually, yeah, outside it, of worms. Outside of <laughs> monsters and his own yeah. dad and, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. And, and it is what it is. And the man is like a 40-year-old Tarzan child that yeah, has no much, manners yeah. or barely any. And... And Chilai is basically like, you know, living with Broly. Yeah. But they're also living with Lemo. So it's like Right. This poor guy being I'm not gonna say the word, it's a C word, but he's basically uh. being he's basically <laughs> being that if that relationship is actually gonna be real. I don't So Yeah, like I don't think like and another thing, like people are trying to say, like, oh, but like when when Broly was like powering up in the movie and like she like her face was, like lit up. I didn't, I didn't read that as a, oh, she's interested in him on a sexual level or on a relationship level or just like she likes him or is it attractive to him. It no. was more of a, holy, sh you know, she's yeah. gonna frick, like he, he's gonna kill everyone. <laughs> like he's so powerful. Like I can't believe yeah. how strong he is. Like that's how I looked at that. Yep. I didn't look at it as like a relationship kind of thing at all. Yeah, I saw know? it as that and as like a, oh, he's actually like, using his powers for good other than just like destroying thing destroying things nonsensically yeah because was, uh, i boys. yeah because like i i like here's the thing me personally i just hope that they hold it they hold off whatever until they have that interaction between kale and broly because that's the true relationship that i want to mm -hmm. see happen because yeah Broly Chilai, okay, enough fan artists have put it in my face on Twitter to a make it believable. A lot of fan artists. Yeah, <laughs> like, to make it like a thing like you you want it to happen now because everyone keeps freaking drawing it. But yeah. to be completely honest, it's like, look, when Kale was first introduced, everyone was pairing Kale with the OG Broly. And that was just like a fan made thing. But now yeah. that we have Broly as a as a as an official character in the continuity of Dragon Ball Super, it's like okay, well this pairing is more likely. But now everyone's yeah. just trying to put Broly Chilai, like they're trying to ship them together. And I'm just like, look, I think it's a little silly to assume that you know Chilai is just gonna be Broly's girlfriend. Like that that's where it's going. If it goes that way, then it goes that way. But it, I, that'd be wild. It's gonna be wild, and I feel like Broly's gonna have have some quote unquote <laughs> growing up to do first, because oh. again, like he's <laughs> never he's never really, from what we oh, can yeah, tell, no. you know, he's never really had any kind of female type of interest or yeah. The only the only conversations he's had is with his father, and, and I'm sure they I'm sure they never had like talks about the birds and the bees while they're trying to survive <laughs> i know right <laughs> Broly probably like hey dad like how how did, how did i become a thing well you see no no <laughs> didn't happen like back that. on planet vegeta your mother yeah. and i <laughs> and i killed her like <laughs> you, you never you never hear about it you know what i'm saying so same with vegeta vegeta is i low-key i feel like when it comes to like 
a lot of the missing mothers <clears throat> in the, in Dragon Ball, like for yeah. the Saiyans at least. I feel like they were just the kind of like they were just like women that were just used for that purpose and they were just like done like thrown away which is kind of weird it was kind of messed up yeah well they're a warrior race they're They're exactly they're they're like spartans (laughs) yeah they're a warrior race so uh, that's a shame but in any case maybe one day we might we might hear about that would be some crazy dark backstory if like you learned about like the mothers of like like vegeta and like broly or whatever so yeah That'd be cool. But yeah, so that was a nice little segue tangent from the episode 100 review that we were talking about, just giving the thoughts um, and opinions on, you know, how it's going so far. They've been doing a really good job, guys. If you have not seen any of these episodes, you really need to. Um, If you're like a sub purist or you don't believe in English dubs, like I, I really recommend for you specifically to check them out because let's, let's, let's be honest. Let's be real now. There was a time, a very, very, very long time ago, where we did not watch things in Japanese. We watched them in the native language yeah. where we were from. Or AKA, on VHS if you went on forums way back in the day and bought them from people in Japan. Yeah. But yeah. again, like that was like you at that point you'd have to be like pretty old in the first place, you know? Yeah. yeah. And know some form of Japanese. <laughs> If that, I mean, okay, the closest thing, I will tell you this right now, the closest thing I ever had to watching Dragon Ball Z in a sub-capacity was um, a comics a comic shop by the name of Wizard World, which is now known as Ooh. Toy Wiz, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they somehow used to sell Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes. Really? Yes, and legally, uh, I don't know <laughs> if mm, we've exposed you. <laughs> so, okay, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It was never something that I personally went out and said, "Hey, I want to buy this or I want this." It was something my dad just through conversation with the whoever was working behind the counter, mm-hmm. uh, he found out about, and they came in like these white sleeves. So I, maybe maybe it wasn't legit, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so he like who he would buy them, and then we'd bring them back home, and then he put them on. I would watch. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm not used to watching this in Japanese. Like, I never thought of to. Um, I never thought of watching these cartoons in Japanese. Right. I just wanted to watch them in English because I speak English. Yeah. So that's, what, that's all we knew. Like, dude, I'm sp- I'm Hispanic, and I would I would feel yeah. some type of way hearing it in Spanish. Like when I would be on like my my grandma's TV watching like freaking uh, Telemundo well, or something. Goku. That's what I'm oh, saying. Gosh. Like, yo, one day <laughs> no, I tuned no. in, I I tuned into Dragon Ball Z on Telemundo or whatever the hell, oh, no. 41, <laughs> and it would, dude. Let me tell you something, bro. It was the weirdest thing as a as a child listening to to Goku and all these characters. It was like the the Snake Way episodes, and they were in Spanish, oh, and I was like, "What the hell am I <laughs> listening to?" Like I couldn't even I didn't even want to watch it. I just changed the channel. I was like, "No, this is not Dragon Ball Z the the way I'm used to watching it." So I just turned it off. Right. You know. I mean, I can't say I blame you. So yeah, so like back in that time period, I was like, "No, I need to hear this in English." But <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like why? Well, what is it, dude? But yeah, like. Not, 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 not. So yeah, like let's not forget the roots of all of this. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're Never listening, to, if you're listening to this from you know from you know the U.S. or even the U.K., you, y'all speak English too. Friggin', you have to, you have to, you know, give super a chance, a fair chance. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, last but not least, here on this episode, we have the probably the meat of of uh this episode and well maybe we'll see um but the but the news uh, at the time of this episode of, of recording of course um toei and funimation have revealed the 30th anniversary remastered collector's edition for dragon ball z to come out later this year mm. now Cannot for those be. that Yes. So, for, and of course, it's gonna be on Blu-ray, and mm. and if these are like any of the recent remasters that have surfaced in Japan for the movies, because they did the movies first, um, the quality is going to look amazing. Like, 
Th like this has this is Dragon Ball Z at its finest. Like it it can't look any better than this. Like this will right. this will be you know remastered of course and it'll be on like be like four by three ratio. Um, Ooh, the so best. it's gonna yeah, so it's gonna be like you know the original original. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it's not gonna be stretched out, cropped, which it shouldn't be to be honest. Because like I really don't mind watching something in its most original format, but at its most optimum, you know, like output possible. Yeah, like closest to how it was originally rendered at or whatever. Um, and you know, so it po you know, so it can just look as good as it possibly can. So that's what's come. That's what's coming out later this year. They don't have a date yet. They only the only thing they do have is that they need people to once the um, pre-registration links or pre-registration forms come out, they need at least twenty five hundred fans to. I I don't know if they have to basically pre-purchase or if they I have think, to. Uh, let me see. In the coming weeks, we'll reveal full details of the set and open res or open a reservation period for fans to reserve their copy is, yeah. of the first mu or of the must-have collector's edition. And while we'd like to just wish it into creation with the Dragon Balls, we're going to need at least two thousand five hundred super fans to help make this happen. <laughs> so you can go to the website and then you sign up, mm -hmm. and then you sign up with the email. Yep, you just put your email. Comes out, yeah. Why 2,500 units? This is the minimum build order for sets from our printers. This minimum makes sure that we can sell the product to you at an affordable price. So the oh. more people sign up, probably the less it'll cost. So everybody go sign up. <laughs> well, that hey, that's actually a great um, a great point to segue into this next portion of you know what I wanted to to talk to you about. And for y'all listening here right now, is that this is not gonna be a cheap set. Oh like, no! This is <laughs> let's just like <laughs> let's just let me just put it into perspective for y'all that have not like you know have not thought of this yet. Like this is the entire oh, Dragon Ball Z it. collection here. Like I'm sure this is gonna come packaged with all of the filler episodes as well. So, with that in mind, this is close to 300 episodes of Dragon Ball Z. And it's on Blu-ray. Remastered. And it comes with, um, like, a uh, an official art book that apparently has never been released in North America. North America's first ever full-sized hardback art book. There you go. Available and, only in this set. And the figure, which they <gasps> haven't revealed yet. What if it's a Broly figure? It's going to be a Goku one. What if I'm, it's I'm, like I'm positive what if it's it's Cell? No. A it, Cell it, figure would be dope. It's going to be Goku. I, I'm pretty what sure What if they, it's like all the villains on like a podium with all their backs facing each other? It's, like, it's going to be uh, a single figure. <laughs> no. It's literally going to... And you know what's funny? I think they actually, in the same tweet, they actually responded to themselves with a silhouette of possibly what the figure uh, was going to be. Was it Goku? I'm telling you, it's Goku, bro. Like... Uh. It's not just as as up. Paul Hayne would say. This is not a prediction. It's a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, like this ain't gonna be cheap. Like, I'm hope like I'm sure oh, there's uh, enough people that are gonna pre-order or it's like battle torn Goku, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, I, I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be enough signups for people to buy it. Oh my um, god. Yeah. It's Dragon Ball we're talking about. This isn't like <laughs> the the first tweet at the picture was, "Oh my God, I cannot believe Goku's going to be in Dragon Ball." Yeah, like for for home home collection purposes, mm. for collector purposes, and to just own Dragon Ball Z in the in the best format possible. You know, this is going to be remastered on Blu-ray. You know, I uh. in that sense, it's worth it. But again, like, how much is it going to be? That's literally what it ultimately comes down to for me, at least personally. Because let's be real now. I love me Dragon Ball. I love me some Dragon Ball. Man, my channel is is full of Dragon Ball content. Yeah. But if I can't afford it, and I if they're not sending money. me one. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, I kind of need that money to pay the bills that I have to pay right now. Yeah. So, my prediction... I'm thinking this set may be 
no less than 150. Oh, I'm thinking easy 200. Possibly 200, right? Yeah. If it's like 300 some episodes, man, and you get a statue or a statue, a figure, and an art book, and everything's on Blu ray with new bonus content, which will probably be like interviews with like Sean, Sean Schemmel, Chris Sabat, like um, easy 300. Easy, yeah, easy 200. 200, 250. Yeah. So, yeah. so again, so yeah, so this is close to three hundred. So to be exact, it's two hundred and ninety-one episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And even this... if it was a dollar an episode, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It would it would be a huge surprise if the set was like a hundred bucks flat. I would Let be like, say. oh, Man. free, take it. You have yeah. this hunted straight up. Here's Benjamin for you. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, yeah. Th- that would be nice. Like, oh my god, I would so I would la- actually I would just be like, okay, here, bet hundred bucks, yeah. easy. I take now that the, the other thing, other thing about this is that hoping that the censorship is considered within this set, I think that will definitely be a make or break for a lot of fans because yeah. the. Like I previously mentioned, the movies, the movie Blu-rays that um, you can actually purchase via Amazon Japan. Um, yeah, you can purchase them on Amazon Japan. And from the from fans that have bought them, they have confirmed that there is still some censorship within those, uh, within mm. those um, releases, which is uh. unfortunate because it's almost like false advertising when... You know, you're saying like, oh, this is like the the truest of true format version of Dragon Ball Z, and yet they're still censoring this crap. It's like, look, like y'all should know by now that your audience is not even like the majority of your audience is all adults. Yeah, we're. I mean, the kids who were watching it way back in the day are all exactly, and they're the ones that'll be buying the product in the first place. Exactly. Like, all of these new fans, all these new kids, like, you know, Lil Uch is one of them. He's 12 years old. And he's yeah, but he watching. don't have the money to buy it. Exactly, he don't got the money to buy it. <laughs> but even it. even at that point, it's like, to think about, think about the censorship. Like, what are they going to censor? They're going right. to, they're going to, they're going to, uh, like, say, like, not say words or sub there's things nothing, differently. There's or, nothing in Dragon Ball that has not been done in any other show nowadays dude that's what i'm saying like because your kids Dragon, are watching it's attack it's on the 30th titan. anniversary so it's like yeah an attack on titan is a whole other thing too you know what i'm saying like that's, there's there's plenty of anime nowadays that is way worse as far as like oh yeah you know every you know censorship quality type whatever you know like it's wild that people are still even to this day like worried about like like producers or manufacturers like companies are still worried about censorship in anime like with with dragon ball of all things like it's not even that bad like stop like a little blood don't hurt nobody in the freaking show you know <laughs> so they should just give us the uns- the most uncensored version possible That's all i want so that way people are just gonna be are will just have no complaints about it and they'll and the, the the most that they'll complain about is oh the cover sucks like okay shut the hell up you're stupid you got the whole uncensored four by three digitally remastered well not di- but just fully original remasters of dragon ball z like shut the hell up you know you're just being a pain in the ass so yeah that is the 30th anniversary um dragon ball z collector's edition set coming out blu-ray um release date is pending hoping it's it would be nice if they released it by like summertime that would be cool so uh, probably since they i'm assuming they haven't even started to print it yet because they're still trying to get the 250 or 2500 uh like confirmed buyers yeah um and they're just taking signups for it now It'll probably go until May. Right. Well, it'll probably go until like af- late April. 
and they'll probably start production in May. And I'll probably get out around like Christmas time. Oh, what if it comes out when Super starts back up? Oh shit! I was I thought about that too, but that's Let's another see. thing that we people are still waiting to hear about because like yeah, we thought that the tease initially was supposed to be. Um, that's what I that. thought it was gonna be, but I mean, now looking back on it, it was a four star Dragon Ball, Goku's grandpa, kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a three and a four star that they shared, so it's either yeah. on on March fourth or on April third that everyone was looking mm-hmm. at. But again, What's you know, it? at the time of this recording, it still isn't March fourth. Yeah, it, is, it isn't either of those things. <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe that is the actual announcement, and they just announced this first. But you know, well, maybe we'll that's when they'll drop what it looks like. It's yeah. like April third. Yeah. What's April third? That is a April third Wednesday, my dude. Oh yeah. So who knows? Yeah. We'll see. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this uh, this uh, episode of Full Power Podcast. Um, we did good on time, so yeah, that's actually yeah, that's actually us. ideal. Yeah, go us. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to add? If not, you can just do the plugs for yourself if you so please, sir. Um, subscribe to Uchi Games on YouTube. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, follow me on Twitter uh, at underscore house top. Um, download Legend of Doken. Word. And enjoy it. Yep, definitely. Uh, everything the house said. This has been the Full Power Podcast episode four. This has been your boys House and Uch, and we'll see y'all next, next time. time.